Hey guys, it's Joanna from Nesting Story, and today I am sharing a quick back to school haul. Well, I don't know how quick it is, there's a lot of stuff here. But um, I wanted to just make a really simple video for you because I know sometimes this is interesting because well, we're all shopping for back to school, at least I've started now. Now our kids don't go back until, I believe their first day is September 5th, um, which is a lot later than some places, but I need to get a jump on this because we are going away at the end of the summer. So I wanted to make sure that I was on top of this. I also have four kids going to school this year. First time that me and Everly are going to school. And here's the thing. I was really big on the hand-me-downs for daycare for me and Everly because they get really dirty there. They're served these hot lunches that are full of sauces like curry and everything. So it goes all down their shirt. And they have this black rubbery tarmac outside where they play where they their clothes just turn black it stains it black and they also have little bikes and our girls have a tendency to wear out their toes and their shoes with bikes because they'll stop themselves with their toes so i've always been really big on the hand-me-downs for daycare but for school like all of their clothes are just looking so grubby and stained and ripped and everything i want to have some nice stuff i have mostly focused on clothes for cooler weather but um it's hot and the way it works in Canada is they'll go back and it'll probably be boiling out and then it can just switch suddenly and I didn't want to be caught with nothing purchased for them um, you know works always up and down and busy and there's some weeks that there's no way I'd be able to go back to school shopping so I wanted to go in and I also wanted to go before things are picked over I've done that one too many times where I've headed into a store and it's all picked over there's nothing left that fits our kids so let's start I only got stuff for the girls. I'm taking Holden shopping separately to pick out his stuff. It's very hard to shop for him. And the only two stores I shopped at were Joe Fresh and also the shoe company. And the biggest reason was convenience. I don't have a big mall near me. Um, and I do like those stores, but this is not sponsored. So let's start with the shoes. I had to get two pairs of shoes for each kid because they each need an indoor pair and an outdoor pair. I have been buying Walmart shoes, and there's nothing against Walmart shoes. I think they're great, but I was finding they're wearing through them really fast, and I realized that a lot of the discounts at the shoe company, it was the same price as what I was spending at Walmart, and I think they're a bit more durable, I'm hoping. So these are what I got for Bo. I got her two pairs of Skechers. I did have to return one pair of, um, of Converse that I got her. She wasn't a fan. I made a point to not get any light up shoes for my kids um, because I think it can be distracting in school. And I liked these because they have, as you can see, there's like a, a plastic covering on a lot of these. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a coating here and I'm hoping that reinforces the toe. I also made sure that there wasn't a lot of stitching here that can come apart because that's where my girls all wear out their shoes. And I made sure the sole was all one piece. Sometimes when you get into the fancier models, there's like this glued on piece on the bottom. Bo is the queen of within first couple weeks of wearing a shoe of that whole bottom piece peeling off. She plays hard. So um, yeah, I got her these two new pairs of shoes. I also, oh, I just realized these ones are laced and I might be taking these back. I just returned some and grabbed these today, but this may not work. I also made a point to make sure that Bo had Velcro. And um, we did, she knows how to tie laces. She had laces for um, the spring with a pair of shoes, but then when, and they were her indoor shoes at school, so I didn't see them. The last day of school when she brought them home, they were just all in knots, and I guess she, out of a rush, just stopped trying to tie them. I'll talk to Bo about this and we will decide together if we keep the laces or go for some Velcro. So next up, I'm going to show you Everly's shoes. So again, two pairs of shoes, one outdoor, one indoor. And I'm curious actually, let me know in the comments, does your kid's school need outdoor and indoor? I wonder if it's because of the seasons we get here in Canada and they don't want to track dirt in. So we've got two pairs of shoes here. These were adorable. Here's some DC shoes. Again, um, I like that the sole's kind of like one piece and it doesn't have that big module. I don't even know what to call it, but there's, all, there's not layers to it. And it's a nice reinforced toe here. Um, Velcro here and another pair of Skechers similar to what Bo has. And no light ups. These are also lightweight, which is nice. So for Mia, I found her this pair of um, Under Armour shoes. 
and um, they were discounted. So I really like those. She's in love with them. And then I also got her a pair of Skechers today. I did try to get her a pair of Converse, but she wasn't a fan. Now, the interesting thing is, so the size of shoes, Bo's a three. Everly's a, what is she, a 12. So they go up to 12 and then they start again. So Bo's a three, Everly's a 12, and Mia is a 10. So the three and the 12 fit Everly and Bo, and it's, Mia's been in a nine forever, and her shoes fit her, but she was getting blisters all the time, so I got her the 10, and they're fitting, they're not coming for feet, but there's so much room at her toes. We're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave her with the 10, and hopefully, she just grows so slowly compared to our other kids are so big. So then I also picked up Mia and Everly each a pair of rain boots at Joe Fresh, which I tend to buy my kids rain boots there because they're fairly inexpensive. So for Mia and Everly, they had been wearing hand-me-down boots for a long time. So they were due for their own brand new pair. Um, Bo and Holden, I believe, have some that are not completely worn through. So we're going to see how long those last. So let's quickly jump into the clothes. So we've got some pairs of pants for Bo. These are all these clothes are from Joe Fresh. So these are some nice kind of like mock jean sweatpants. Um, I got them in navy and in black. Bo will not wear jeans, she just won't. But I got her a cute jean jacket and she is gonna keep that jean jacket. It's really adorable. One thing I found at Joe Fresh, if you're gonna shop for your kids, especially the older girls, is um, they fit really big. So I had to actually go back and get a smaller size for some of the things for Bo. So for Mia, take another bag here. I got her this cute little t-shirt on discount. I realized it was a final sale after Mia vetoed it. Um, so she's just gonna have to wear it. Uh, she likes comfy clothes. She will not wear jeans. She won't even wear leggings. She has to have kind of like a baggier sweatpant and um, very picky about her top. She loved these kind of tops yesterday. I just had to get a bigger size. So Mia typically wears 4T. These sweatshirts are in a 5T. So these are really cute. And then also for Mia, I just got her, I found like a bunch of sweatpants that aren't too tight. A bunch of colors here. Let's see, these ones here. So they got the little cuffs at the bottom. Actually, she was even trying to wear these. I've made a rule that no one's wearing any of their clothes outside of the house until school starts. So Mia and Everly actually slept with their shoes last night. Mia slept with hers on. Everly slept with the hers beside her pillow. It was pretty cute. But yeah, I am i don't need them destroyed at daycare and camp before school even starts. So these are some really soft tops that I got for Mia. And I, they were a winner. She's really she's my hardest kid to shop for, actually. She needs ultra comfy clothes. And just not, as much as I'd love to put her in tons of cute clothes, she won't at all even entertain it. So then Everly is the easiest kit to shop for. So I got her, oh, I also got this for Bo. I had to go and exchange it for a smaller size, but it's cute little bell sleeves. So Everly's the easiest to shop for because she's not picky. But one thing I do have to be careful with her, she kind of doesn't have much of a bum, for lack of a better word. Um, so her pants fall down and she always has a butt crack showing. So we've gone to getting these like tunic type shirts or basically dresses that she wears with pants. So I got her a whole bunch of long sleeves and I bought her size small, which is a six. They're a little long on her, but I'd rather roll a sleeve because she's our super tall kid that is growing so quickly and I just wanna make sure that she has tons of clothes. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, she tried it on yesterday and it's inside out. Um, this is really cute, a little wrinkly, but I'm also going to be starting the drawer system. I don't know if you remember the Monday through Friday um, clothing drawers that I used to have for Holden and Bo. I've stopped doing with Holden and Bo. They don't need it anymore, but me and Everly do. Got some stretchy jeans for Everly. She was so excited to have big girl jeans. She's never had a new pair of jeans before. They've always been hand-me-downs. So like I said, she's easy to shop for and I can have a bit more fun with her clothing. And then I got her some similar kind of these um, mock jean sweatpants. I like these because they're nice and thick and hopefully they won't rip at the knee too quickly. So a couple more of these long sleeve dress type things. I got a bunch of cute stuff for Bo, but she vetoed it all. So when I go shopping with Hol for Holden, Bo will come too, because we've got a few days off with just the big kids before we go away. And these are all, all the stuff I'm showing you is Everly's. Um, 
we'll pick out some stuff. So here's just the last pair of pants. This is like a nice, see I like these because you can type, tighten them on the inside. So these are really cute. These are all Everly's. So that's it. Super <laughs> simple video today. I'm actually having some really fun back to school videos coming up in the next few weeks. There's gonna be, we're creating a command center and talking about getting our finances under control for the back to school season. Um, I'm talking about what I do to prepare our kids when they start kindergarten. This is a really important one. It's something I've done for all my kids and what not to worry about. And I actually do like a mock school. Um, and what's the other one? Let me think. Those two and, oh, just I'm going to be sharing the story about Bo's learning to read. Um, this was a big deal for the past year. So these are some videos over the next few weeks that are going to be coming up that are really big deal to me and um, just I think very helpful and a lot of takeaways especially for parents so let me know have you started your back to school shopping are your kids in school do your kids need indoor and outdoor shoes and how far in advance before the weather changes if your weather changes where you live um, do you buy the warmer stuff let me know I'd love to know all about your back to school shopping and where do you think, I, I want to go to Old Navy still in H&M. Those are two places I'd like to check out, but I'm pretty covered for me and Everly. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.